No, you don't need to get that close to me. I, I, you weirdo. You fucking weirdo. Well, that's warm. But it's like it's been in the car for about two hours. Yeah, but like, whatever. Why couldn't it be cold? Because it's summer. Why is life always trying to take me down? I really couldn't tell you. <laughs> me neither. <sighs> All right, Gerard. All right. Hey, how you doing? I'm I'm doing good. How you doing? Hey. <laughs> like how Besides far how, I like how far away we are from each other. I know so. that's why I tried to zoom in closer. And you're like, oh, you're weird. You're closer, but you weirdo. All right, get, get closer. Get closer, my boy. It's a little weird how close you are. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I don't care. There you go. I yeah. am in the show now to push you off. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Just review the whole movie. It good. Watch it. The end. All right. All right. We All just right. got back from seeing Ant Man and the Wasp. Oh God, that's gonna be in that one. Yeah. yeah, that was, yeah, no, we just it's got good. back seeing it. Yeah, he spoiled it, by the way, it, it good. All right, so we, we love the original Ant-Man, I loved it. It's oh, yeah, one of my same. favorite ones, actually. Oh, yeah, it's top, one of my top favorite Marvel movies of all time. Yeah, it's in my top ten, somewhere, I don't know. You sounded very remember. unsure about that. I was going to say top six, because I think it's number six. <laughs> so, I think it was, I remember seeing you making a post about it. Yeah, I should look that up, I and mean, while, while I'm looking it up. Uh, yeah, so we were looking forward to this one, and of course after. Three <laughs> years. Well, yeah, three years. But after Infinity War, we needed, like, a little bit of a, you know, like, a, a pick-me-up. Because that movie, and we're not going to spoil it. Everybody saw we it. We needed a pick-me-up from the MCU, not from just movies in general. We yeah. Deadpool came out afterwards. Yeah, that was a good pick-me-up. Yeah, that, yeah, but even that started off with someone dying. Like, what the fuck? Like, Jesus. Yeah. This movie... There was a lot of people dying at the beginning of Deadpool. What are you kidding? The, yeah, well... He was collecting hands. Well, I don't care about those people. You know what I meant. I meant, like, yeah, a character I like. It came but, fine. It was fine. It was... It's fine. It's it worked fine. out. Everything's fine. Just leave me alone. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, get the fuck out. Okay, all right. Bye. He's gonna review the rest of the movie. But, uh... Yeah, no. So, <laughs> Infinity War was just like a... I mean, it had a lot of fun moments. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, no, but, but it was a dark movie. Yeah, it ended... Uh, it's number really six. Talk. Yeah. Number six. Oh, it's so, number six. Good. Here you go. Here you go. Number six. There you go. Follow me on Letterbox. But anyway, uh, I really wanted this movie to just be goofy and fun. I mean, that's what it's you like think of Ant-Man. And yeah, that's pretty much what we got. I mean, yeah. this, this movie, hey, if you really want a movie that has nothing to do with any of the other movies, besides maybe... Ant-Man 1? Well, besides, well, even Ant-Man 1. Yeah, I guess Ant-Man 1. But really, you don't need to watch Ant-Man 1. You could watch Captain America. Well, this Ant-Man guy's cool. I'm not going to watch the other one. I'll just watch... The new one? The new one. You really don't need to watch the last one. They don't really reference anything from the first one. Uh, uh, it kind of... It's kind of... Well, even, even the whole, it's, the whole it's wife. Not, it's not enough for you to be like, oh, I yeah. need to see it before I understand it. But yeah, like uh, like even the wife. Like This whole story is about uh, trying to save the uh, the mother of mm -hmm. uh, yeah. the wasp. What's her name? What's her Janet. Actually? Hope. Well, no, I meant Hope. Oh, yeah, Jan I got Janet's you. the name of the mother. So, that, it, like, even that, like, you you could get that from the first Ant-Man, or you just watch this one and they explain it immediately, and you oh, get yeah. it. Um, and, by the way, I like every time they do the uh, younger versions of some of the uh, cast members, like Michael Douglas, yeah. and they always do the CG, and it always looks really good. Oh, yeah. Like, even Civil War, they did the young version of Robert Downey yeah. Jr. Yeah, oh, yeah, and I was like, and even if it looked a little too CG, that was the point also, because yeah. I was like a whole... Like just a, a hologram they set up or something like that. Yeah, and in, in, uh, in Civil War it was a hologram. Yeah, yeah so it was they, actually, that, they, they did. Actually fit that. Yeah, they did. It well, looked good here. Good job there. Yeah, it looked good here. It looked good in the first Ant Man because they had him young too. Oh yeah, him and uh, Howard Stark. Kind of correct? Yeah, it was, uh, there? It, yeah, Howard Stark and, and, uh, and some of the other characters that were yeah, there. Yeah, and Captain America's Bay. What was her name? Oh she god, that's there. right. She was there. She was in old age makeup though. She yeah, was she was. There. But um, yeah, Agent so, Carter. Yeah, Carter. Yeah. Yeah, it was Shield. Yeah, yeah, Shield. Uh, but anyway, this movie uh, is all about them trying to figure out how to go into the quantum realm, which Ant Man went in at the last and at the end of the last movie. Yeah. Uh, and they have to go find the girl along the way. They, Janet. Yeah, Janet. Along the way, they have to uh, fight off a new villain, Ghost, mm -hmm. who has a reason for being there. I'm not gonna spoil. I mean, it's not. And Scott good. also has to juggle the fact that the FBI is watching him yeah, at all times because yeah, of the Civil War. Because the Civil War, he's on house arrest, so he has to like juggle that, and also has to kind of juggle his relationship with um, Hope because yeah. she doesn't really trust him anymore because he went to go uh, fight with Captain America, and in the process, he got thrown in jail, and also that means uh, Hope and um, Hank Pym have to go on the run because that was the Ant Man suit and mm -hmm. they, they tracked him down. So, uh, so there's all reason. Yeah. Uh, so the movie itself is a lot of fun. It's very funny. Exactly what you want. Yeah. From 
An Ant-Man. Ant -Man. Ant -Man. Ant Man! Yeah, that's our favorite ad, by the way. Look up, uh, what's the, just at Ant Man TV spot for the yeah, original. It was, it's like 12, 12 to 60 seconds. It's the actors for uh, the two lead actors. They're just going like this. Yeah. And it's like, Ants! Ants! Ant, and it's just like a picture ants. of Ant, and you just pull them out and says, Ant Man! Just Ant Man! <laughs> and that was the TV spot for the movie. That could, that could have been the only trailer for that movie. I would it could have been. It. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's like, what great... is this? I'm watching this. <laughs> Perfect TV spot. But anyway, yeah, this movie uh, is a lot of fun. It's uh, like if you are someone that hasn't watched any of the Marvel movies and you're like, you know what, I need to you know binge watch them, but I don't really watch it, need to watch them all to understand the mm -hmm. overall plot. plot. This is a necessary one because it's yeah, you know, it doesn't seem it like it could be a standalone thing. Yeah, it's a standalone thing. Kind it of. Like it the doesn't really. Thing. It really doesn't. What watch? We're gonna later find out there's like one insignificant <laughs> thing that popped up in like a well, there's War, one or two. There's not not talking about that. Yeah. But like yeah. say like like well, one of Lewis's tangents. Happened and that had something to do with like the uh, way to beat Thanos in Infinity War Part Four. I'm guaranteeing you. Yeah, it's by the way, it's Louise. Louise, I keep saying Louis. I keep saying Louis. I don't but, know why um, I keep saying Louis. Cause you're racist. I got exposed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a big thing right. Don't do it. Says racist. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's only a little racist. But um, isn't everyone? <laughs> yeah, I guess. But um, um, that is true. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Ant Man and the Wasp. Is all about just fun. It, they, it doesn't really take itself seriously at all. There's a, I mean, you could watch the trailer and there's a part where the ants are playing a drum. Yeah. Set. So you know, like you know what movie you're getting when you go in, and it's goofy. I mean, it has, it has good moments. You yeah. Know? Some drama in there, which works, just like in the first Ant Man. Mm -hmm. uh, the re re relationship between uh, Scott, Paul Rudd, yeah. and his daughter is cute. Um, oh yeah, she is like. The best person, uh, the best uh, partner anyone could ever ask for. It's just <laughs> like, oh no, I'm about to get exposed. I'm about to get exposed while we're leaving house arrest. Don't worry, Dad, I got you covered. I got you covered. <laughs> I love him even in the first movie where uh, uh, he gets her this ugly ass doll. And it's she's like, I love it. It's terrifying. I love it. And he knew that she'd love it. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Their, their relationship's amazing. Yeah, so it, it's, it's like, adorable. It's like, here's your trophy. Wall's greatest grandma. Yeah. It's the only one I had. <laughs> there's a lot of really good gags in here. Yeah, there's a lot of gags. I will say this, though. If I had any negative, I think some of the gags don't work as well as they should. Mm. Like, And I will say the uh, Louise, or Louis, um, <laughs> Louise and the other two, I forgot their names. But um, they have funny moments, but I like them better in the first movie. Yeah, I think mean, they were more prevalent in the first movie yeah, also. Yeah, in the first movie also, Luis, uh, the actor, Michael yeah. Pena, um, he had a lot of like room to improvise and do whatever he wanted. And it was more scripted. Yeah, and supposedly he had like no room to improvise because uh, they wanted to keep to the script. So I hear. Yeah, so that sucked because in the first one, all that, <laughs> like you could tell he was improvising with some of that stuff. He was just like, I'm in the system. I'm in the system. Like, just little things like that. Yeah. And that part, I love in the original Ant-Man, when he knocks out the security guy, he's just like, oh, you, uh, wait, what was, what was it? Oh, my God. Oh, you were in the middle of a very serious operation or something like that. You were, oh, no, you were a tragic casualty to a very serious operation. operation. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Like, I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Serious time to try to get, uh, yeah. casualty of an operation while, that, like, yeah. while Hope just walks by the stand, yeah. like, oh, my God, why <laughs> do we bring him? <laughs> I love it. But uh, even, like, uh, Michael Douglas is like, uh, 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 no, 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 not those three wombats. No, no, no. It just cuts to, to them, just like, oh man, we, we're, we're back, back again. Yeah. You came to us last time, and now you're back to us again, Dr. Pym. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And it's like, no, no, we're not gonna do. Is that my desk? You literally got my desk out of garbage. Oh god, I got a dumpster dog. You seriously doing this right now, guys? Yeah, guys, calm down. Hope, calm down. Get, stay focused. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of really good gags in this. There's movie a too. lot of good gags. But uh, I will, I will, and yeah, we're not gonna spoil all the gags. No. Right here. Um, but yeah, no, there's a lot of really good gags. Uh, the whole movie is based around how much you like the characters, I guess, really, because yeah. if you don't like the characters, you're not, you're not gonna get anything from this. I mean, it's I'm, just, yeah, it's just. It's a character-driven show, a uh, movie. Yeah, I mean, character-driven in the sense that you just want to see Paul Rudd say something funny and react weird. And yeah. There's one great scene where Paul Rudd nails it. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't want to spoil no spoiling. it, but it, it, he has, like, an outer body experience, I will say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that part had me dying, and that's probably my favorite part in either of the Ant-Man movies. Oh, that's actually... But, uh, that was really good. Uh, that was really good. And he did a great job there. But even... The, I, I, I noticed there's times where it seemed like he was being a little bit too goofy, and it kind of took me out. But besides that, I think he's great. He did an excellent job. Um, 
some of the other gags from some of the other side characters. I keep some, calling them gags, but that's what it feels like gags. Not, it, not it, just it jokes. Comedic. Not even just jokes. There's some slapstick humor and stuff. Some of the other stuff doesn't really hold up as well. I will also say another negative until and we're going to get into positive story. No Anthony the Winter Ant. Yeah. <laughs> no, Anthony doesn't come back. But um, there's other ones. But there's uh, a couple of moments where I wish they would do the Ant-Man stuff more. Where it's like in the action and he's getting small and stuff. And, it was, oh, yeah. and the first one was really clever because he's going through like a vacuum and he oh, ran yeah. into a brick. And there was, a, of course, there was some of, of that. There wasn't as much. There was as much. And, and when there was a lot of it, it wasn't as inventive. It was just like, oh, Oh, he's on a car, or he's in a car. There, yeah, so there was some Clovis stuff too, but yeah, yeah, like, a good chunk of that Clovis stuff was like Wasp. Yeah, yeah, and and like the car. The car was pretty cool. Every time we shrunk the cars. Oh, yeah. Which, that's not a spoiler. It's in the trailer. If it's in the trailer, I feel like we could talk about it. Yeah. Um, um, but Because well, uh, if they're going to spoil it, then fuck it. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, but anyway, All right, yeah. so... That's my last negative. Yeah, that's pretty much... I kind of feel the same as stuff I wasn't really taking out as much. Mm -hmm. Then again, you see a lot more movies than me and seen a lot more bad movies a lot more good yeah. movies so you're more, you're more trained in noisy things. Meanwhile, I'm just yeah. like... So, like, if you can watch a movie you can be like, that sucked because this, this, this. I can give you a 500-word essay on it. I'm just yeah. like, I had fun. I had fun. I had fun. It was a good time. I like the part where he hits the wall and he goes, boink. <laughs> you get knocked out. <laughs> Compared to the <laughs> That's him. He was doing that in the theater a lot. I, I got a lot of nice. I got a lot of angry eyes. <laughs> I got a lot of angry eyes. The two of them were mine. Two <laughs> Yeah, actually just one. One was on the screen, the other one went over here to you. <laughs> so I, I'm good at that. You got <laughs> a crazy eye? Yeah, I got I got a lazy eye. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, you got angry eye. I got angry eye. <laughs> That's what I call it. It just show you can hear it move too. But um Alright, so I wanna go to the next one. Um so villain. Go. All right. Ghost is a pretty cool villain. She's, um... I wouldn't necessarily call her a villain, actually. Like, she's trying to... So here's basically the premise of it. She's, she's, like... There's a whole thing where she's, like... Uh, has, like, a phasing problem. Yeah. And she's trying to, like, foil, like, the plans of a like, Hank and... And Hope. Because uh, yeah. her overarching goal pretty much spoils... Uh, ruins their plans and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to go into it. Yeah. But there's a whole uh, thing there, and... I didn't really feel like a villain was, even though it was definitely an antagonist, but yeah. she actually had like her own motivation behind it. Towards the end of the movie, she was doing some villainous shit. Like, oh, yeah, that was she a, didn't that's get, she didn't. She didn't give a shit about it. She went on the deep end. But, um, there, there's yeah. a reason why. There's context to it. Yeah, there's a reason. Like it, It's kind of like how Killmonger... It's very similar to Killmonger, because at first he's not doing really... I mean, I guess he is doing kind of evil shit, but not... Kind of, but not... not, 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 not like, it escalates. Yeah, it escalates pretty... But, this again, there's a context to it. Yeah. She doesn't become king of Wakanda or anything like that. Yeah, no, that, she That would no. be a little weird. That would be weird. And then this would be the They walk into the lab, she's like, I am now king of Wakanda. <laughs> Gets a Black Panther suit. like, where did you get this? Yeah, did you, you drink the thing? And she went into the deep sleep or whatever. Yeah. They buried her. I don't know. It was a very weird time. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. and then also, that, that would mean it would be the third movie in a row from the MCU to have Wakanda in it. Okay, yeah. So, yeah. I wish the big battle was in Wakanda. That would have been great because I love Wakanda. No, but seriously though, I did... I got did it. What? You're allowed to do, do it. You do it. But that should be our thumbnail. Where are you going? The Wakanda forever? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is like Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. <laughs> but um yeah no it was a uh, she was a great villain. I, well okay. I thought Antagonist. she was good. Yeah, she yeah, wasn't an, she wasn't really a villain. Thing, but... It's not the same as yeah, what was in the, in the first Ant-Man was yellow jacket where that guy was just like I'm going to make militarize the wasp suit or the the yellow jacket suit yeah. and give it the Hydra yeah. and make weapons of mass destruction essentially. Yeah, she was doing it because she there was something about her that there, was there's there's wrong. a reason and she was villainous. wronged in her life. She, it was like she's trying to do something that was Kind of in the right, in a weird sense, you can understand where she's going at, but it's yeah. like it's, her approach is just no. Yeah, so it's kind of like Killmonger in a way. Con right? uh, you, you, you can tell, yeah, but it's similar because she had something let's done not wrong compare this to Killmonger. Well, Killmonger at the end wanted to do bad stuff, but you snap your fingers. I'm late. I'm waiting for you to finish. Okay, so um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, not not comparing her as in like Killmonger at the end. He wanted to kill a lot of people. Obviously, his name's Killmonger. Yeah. So I mean, he already killed a lot of people. All the scars. He's gonna kill a lot more people. But in the sense that she was wronged in her life, where she lost someone, uh -huh. and she's trying to actually. She's trying to 
make things right. R- yeah, make things right for herself in a way. So it's similar. Um, and I, I think the MCU loves that kind of villain at this point. I where feel it, like it does. Like, like Phase a, 3? Yeah. Yeah, Phase 3, there's definitely a lot of those. There's a lot of characters where you feel for them. even though, Or villains where you feel for them. And she's more of a... Killmonger, an Thanos, yeah. Ghost now. Yeah, Ego. I mean, he, just, oh, wanted, yeah, he just wanted to destroy all the planets. He just wanted to make all the planets big, him. Yeah, what was the fucking big deal? He just gave her a little bit of cancer. It's not that big. I it broke my heart to put that tumor in her. <laughs> what? Where's she? <laughs> Where's Kurt Russell, Grandpa? It broke my heart. I mean, to be fair, he's <laughs> much older than the average Grandpa. <laughs> he's been That's around, true, he goes he's very old. Probably, the only one older than him is probably Galactus. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, When we get that deal. And Stanley. Stanley's pretty old. He's, he's up there. Yeah. In a, a couple centuries, at least. <laughs> as old as Galactus. Only a couple centuries. And, yes, you don't have to worry. There is a Stanley cameo. For those of you who are worried yeah. because of Deadpool. There is one. Uh, he does kill Ant-Man, though. That was really upsetting. When he just shot him in the face. He's just like, yeah, you little bastard. Why did you have to br- spoil um, this whole sorry. thing? Sorry, shit. I'm sorry. No, but it was a quick It was a quick cameo. It was actually pretty funny. Yeah, it was funny. It was actually... A classic Stanley cameo. It referenced... Cameo. How he it, it referenced him making Ant Man, I think, right? Yeah, it was definitely him. Yeah, yeah, I know it was definitely him. But um, no, 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 that's it. That was it. Yeah, that was it. It, it was a good little cameo. Um, and I will also say that the villain was really cool. I will say the side villain was kind of weak. Walton Goggins, I love, but that's the yeah. actor that played. Yeah. Him. Not that he's weak, it's that he's just not in the movie enough, and every time he shows up, he's just like, I'm an evil businessman kind of guy. Oh, yeah, that guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, you see, he didn't know who the fuck I was talking about. No, I, but, did, um, I didn't know the, na- the actor's name. Yeah, it's his name, Walt Goggins. But, um, he was... Yeah, in, but he was, was, he was it was, like, was, one of those things where it's, like, every, like, whenever he did pop up, it was, like, at the most inopportune time. Yeah. Like, they established him early in the movie, and he's like, I, we're not done here, we're gonna continue this, and then, like, throughout the movie, he just continued, and you're like, oh, God, not this guy again. Yeah. Uh, by the way, he was the villain in Tomb Raider, the movie, too. Really? And he was a weak villain in that, too. Wow. So, there you go. Did he yeah, just show him those in the two times? No, I mean, he was he was there most of the time. He just he was a generic-ass villain. Right. <laughs> is it. Um, I love Walton Goggins. Wow, the guy in charge of the Black Rocket would never guess him, him being generic. Yeah. I mean, I kind of liked him when he was on screen. He just wasn't on screen enough. Not enough, yeah. Yeah. Whenever he was on, and they had that whole, like, there's a joke about truth serum, which is really funny. Oh, um, yeah. It, it, that was good, but it wasn't, it had nothing to do with him. That's, I mean, yeah. he, he just showed up and then that joke happened. Yeah. But whatever. Um, there was a lot of really good um, set pieces, too, I thought. Oh, yeah, and, it was a, and, and also, for the comic fans out there, there are some actual name drops, like, to expand in the lore of the series. Mm-hmm. Awesome yeah. series. I'm not going to say it, but there are some name drops that get brought up uh, for certain characters. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was actually a really nice callback. Yeah, there's one character that people said should have been in the first Ant-Man that they they talk about. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, for all you people that are big Ant-Man fans, they do talk about some of these characters. Uh, you might not like how they represent yeah, them all, or the, talk about all, them. but For the three of you that, lo- that love the Ant-Man comics... That yeah. still exists today. Listen, yeah. Ant-Man was popular a long time ago. Yeah, Ant-Man was very popular. Like, was it? I don't know. <laughs> was it popular? I don't <laughs> know. I guess it's popular now. Yeah. I mean, it was definitely popular now. There was a I lot mean, of people I mean, in the theater. I mean, me and the Ant-Man is related to the Avengers throughout the comics. He was more popular according to the galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now look at him now. That makes sense. That makes more sense that he'd be more popular with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Especially you got, you got, the, the whole a, you quantum kinda, realm just I mean, looks like something from either Doctor Strange or Guardians of the Galaxy. I li- yeah, I know. But, like, I, I meant, like, in terms of the comic, like, he was more popular yeah, because, yeah. again, his connection with the Avengers, there's a whole thing there. Mm-hmm. And the Guardians, like, two people knew about them before the, uh, before yeah. uh, the movie came out. Yeah. That one made sense that it would be popular, though. Because, I mean, it's not too far off. I mean, there's yeah. a tree guy and a raccoon, and I guess that's I weird. Mean, that's, but, I mean, but in space, it's so called, it's fine. It's not called Ant-Man. No. You know? It's called Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, it's, it's like, why do you call him Ant-Man? Man. He shrinks. Yeah. You know? That makes he, sense. He makes... He, he, he's small. Yeah, it works. It, it works. works. And sometimes he's big. Yeah, because giant man. Sometimes he's medium. Which... <laughs> yeah, that, would, that, that happened. <laughs> that was great. It's a really... Like, just... Like, there's a lot of gags that are flashing in my they, mind. They definitely... Remember. I think that because Marvel movies have become a lot more comedic and me and Ant-Man was a, lot, a little bit uh, was quite comedic and originally, yeah. they're like, hey, let's just go crazy and just do the comedy. Like, say a joke and we'll decide to do it. Okay, let's do this really stupid joke. Love it. Put it in the script. Put it in. I don't care. 
<laughs> Erica okay. writes, I'm writing this one, so screw them. Okay? That's who wrote the first one. Um, you know who Edgar Wright is, right? Yeah. Well, who is he? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, He's the guy that did the Shaun, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, it was that. Scott Pilgrim vs. Yeah, the World. I, yeah, I knew who that was. He knows. See, this guy knows. So, um... What was I talking about before? Oh, yeah, the set pieces. I really like some of the set pieces. Even though we didn't get a lot of the cool Ant-Man stuff, there was some really good you know, action ones and comedic ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's one that I love involving a school. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and like I said before, there's one... Um, did I say this? The, the car scene? I guess... No, I didn't you say this. You kind of mentioned so, it? Yeah, I kind of mentioned it. There's one involving a car chase. So that's really good. Yeah. Um, because they... Yeah, it's not just a regular car chase. They they manipulate sizes. Yeah, that was in the trailer. Stuff. They shrank yeah, it yeah. and expanded it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a lot of that. And also, of course, the Pez dispenser. Oh, right? yeah. Which, by the way, is great in the trailer, but it's actually better in the movie. Oh, yeah. It, this it, <laughs> meaning behind the Pez dispenser. <laughs> yeah, so it's really good. Um, so there's some great action scenes and the great set pieces and all that. But, um... I just wish there was more Ant Man stuff, like him being small and having to. And there, there is a little bit of that. Yeah. I just wish there was more. Yeah, just I mean, Ant Man. I mean, let's be real. The first Ant Man movie pretty much started off as a heist movie and ended with yeah. like a superhero battle. Yeah, and this one was a retrieval. It story? was kind of like a rescue mission. <laughs> yeah, I guess rescue mission. There you go. It's like Rogue One. They have to go get the plants. They have to get <laughs> I, the that's mark. not a rescue mission. Yeah, that's, that's a, a rescue, suicide mission. They have to rescue the plants. Come on. Yeah. Rescue the plans for the ones who made them. I was thinking more like it's a retrieval. Like retrieval. they have to go and retrieve something. That's, That's why I said retrieval. I mean, um, I, I mean, part of because it's kind they, of the most of the, most of the time they have to retrieve something. It's kind of like both, actually. Yeah, because they have to retrieve something just to go and rescue her. Yeah, most of the movie. That that's another thing I would say. There's a lot of uh, we have to get this. Okay, we got it. Oh, we just lost it. Now we have to go get it again. Yeah, it's, so, a lot, it's like a fa like if it was a game, people would be mad about the amount of fetch quests yeah. that's in this movie. Yeah, there's even a point where, where they have to go to somewhere and and uh, Hank Pym uses his uh, ant telekinesis it's, power. It, yeah, he has, no, he has like a little yeah, like, no, he has a little thing. Piece. Yeah, I know. Um, and and it, in the sky, you see all those flying ants just oh, like yeah. make, a, make a one of those waypoints like you see in a fucking video game. And he's just like, all right. He's like, yo, that would be a good tracking device. That was great. There's a lot of really good guys. Yeah, there yeah. was a lot of that. I know I'm spoiling some of the jokes, but these are like very small jokes. That There's are visual. a lot of them in this I'll movie. Put, I'll put spoiler talk in the title so people can't talk shit. So, you know, this is getting the spoilers. I guess. Okay, right, I want to do one more thing. Yeah. Uh, the The cops. Oh, yeah, the cops. Uh, Randall Park plays, uh, what's his name? Do you remember the character's name? Lou or something? Lou, yeah. Yeah, Lou. Okay, who's like this, uh, Randall Park is a comedian. Who the hell, but like, what else was he in? I, I'm like, throughout this whole movie, I'm like, who is this guy? He oh, looks so familiar. Did you ever see the interview? I have not, but I feel like I saw him in something else. Okay, do you know what the interview yeah, was? Yeah, I know right? what the interview You played Kim Jong-un in that, so. Really? <laughs> yeah, he did. He was great in that. But uh, I can't remember what else he was in. And you asked me that in the theater, and I was thinking, like, what he would be in that you would have saw. And I can't think of anything. I'm looking at his phone. I got my phone. He's going to get his phone. But, um, yeah, no, he, he was really good, even though his, his joke was all about, like, him being serious, and then something happens where he's just like, so you're going to teach me that card trick? Yeah, it was like, for like for example, I know you always had spoilers, so I'm going to yeah, go a little bit. Yeah, um, at the beginning, fine. it like shows uh, Scott is, like, under house arrest because what happened in Germany yeah, during the Civil War. The and he was, like, two, almost, it's two years almost up. He has two years of house arrest and three years of probation. Mm -hmm. And he has, like, a little heist thing with his daughter, like a makeshift heist thing. And yeah, his foot yeah. actually goes through the fence, so and he has a little, like, track it thing. Yeah. So the, the cops are all over looking, making sure he's not doing anything. Yeah. And he's like, come on. You just actually, dude, look. It's how I have to be in this house for two years. You know how hard it is to entertain a ten-year-old girl? Yeah. He pulls out and did a magic. He's like, I learned that. I learned that. I learned this. Yeah. And he goes, How did you learn that? Yeah, I just learned that. <laughs> and then you see him later on in his what office was, trying how, to learn what was it. Name again? Randall Park. It's with two L's. Um, I know this because I'm a loser. But um, yeah, no, yeah, like it, that guy was funny. It, it, it came back at times where it was just like, all right, <laughs> I like him, but. You know, we don't need to... Well, let's get back to the story, because there was times where he just showed up to make a, like, crack a joke, like, oh, is he barfing a lot or whatever? And I'm just like, come on, I want to get back to the story. Did he find the, the wife or whatever, you know? I no, I, I, know. I, and it's like his thing is pretty much just like, like I'm about to get that Scott Lang. I'm going to get Damn it, I didn't get him. I'll get you next time, Scott Lang. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, yeah he, he was good. Oh, God, what the... <laughs> oh, God, what I, the... I found I, porn. I, I, no... <laughs> That's a very weird. That's a no, deep. That's a deep. He's Google in a search. lot of movies that I 
did not watch, but for some reason, I, he just looks so freaking familiar. Maybe, maybe he's a... He's, he's, he's coming in a new Aquaman movie. He was in The Disaster Artist. Yeah, he was in The Disaster Artist. Yeah, he was in it for a little bit. Um, he's in The neighbors. Aquaman movie? He's going to be in The Aquaman movie. Yeah, what freaking... Benedict maybe he's going to try to get, uh, get that damn Scott Lang. Yeah, Benedict Arnold motherfucker going to betray us. It's funny, Lawrence Fishburne betrayed DC because he was in the Spider... I mean the Spider-Man. The Superman movies. Oh, yeah. And the Batman v Superman and Man of Steel. Oh, uh, um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh, my God. You do? You, you saw him? I saw the Man of Steel. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. I let him borrow it, and two years later, he finally watched it. Oh, yeah. All right. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what, what was I thinking? <laughs> Excuse me. That's not nearly as weird. Anyway, continuing on. All right. Um, yeah, so Randall Park is good in the movie. Oh, yeah, he's there's really a good. Lot, there's a lot of great... Uh, and you got to see his family again. With all just like BFFs now, even like yeah, even, even like even even the ass hat fiance, actually the husband at this point. Yeah, I feel like and he's just like I love you, Scott. You're my best bud. It's just yeah, like yeah. Well, what is going boy. on? Well, they were kind of friends in the last one. Remember? They were kind of, he but just, it was it was like it, it was like you know what? You're cool. Now he's just like oh, I love you, man. <laughs> like they all go on a good group. I was like get in there. Well, he was a cop in the last movie, so he's when still a they, cop. Yeah, so when they brought the cops in at that one point in the movie, I thought he would be like a main character you know he'd actually show up and actually do something oh yeah no he's not he's, he's just not. like he's, just, he's like and i love it too she's like trying to read scott's rights he's like you can't do this yes he can she, yeah. you need a one no they do not no they do not <laughs> like wow this is a fucked up country yeah. <laughs> which i love uh, a little social commentary for you you know you're never safe you're never safe you're never from safe big brother from big brother but um yeah uh what were we talking about randall park ant-man ant-man uh, what Ants. Oh my god! But yeah, no, no. I really enjoyed all the action, all the, all the special effects and stuff. It all looks great. Uh, I, I wonder if it has the same budget that the first movie did because the first movie was pretty small. Yeah, it was because, a pretty small movie. I mean, it was, I mean, it probably had a lot of money just I mean, compared, compared to, to Marvel movies. Compared to most Marvel movies, yeah, like Black Panther or some shit. Which, um, yeah. So especially if, since it came right after Age of Ultron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, you mean the. Uh, Oh, yeah, I guess Ant-Man did come out. Yeah, the first one. Isn't that weird that Ant-Man always follows an Avengers movie now? That is kind of weird. Yeah. Is, there, is the next Ant-Man movie going to come out right after... Uh, we'll find the out. Next, the next part. They're we'll find out after secretly, Infinity War Part 2. Yeah, secretly add one in there. Uh, and this is actually, by the way, the 20th MCU movie, which originally Avengers Infinity War was supposed to be the 20th. Really? But I think they moved around stuff, and then it became the 19th, and this is the 20th. Huh. So it's weird that this is the 20th one. Because this doesn't really fit the like the like the big one. It's just kind of it's just kind of there. It's like it's our twentieth yeah. movie. Here's a standalone film. Yeah, here's a thing you don't even really watch any of their movies. It, it, listen, but the it, post credit it, scene you won't get. The first post credit scene. The yeah, second one, you know. This, <laughs> you no, know that second post credit scene, man. People were pissed. I had fun. <laughs> I liked it. Yeah, yeah, I liked it too. But uh, yeah, people were pissed in my theater or at our theater. Which I mean, it's is like, weird. Well, like you already got a really good one. We, it's Ant Man and the Wasp. It's not like it's Infinity War. Which, by the way, Infinity War had kind of a weak one, and then a really good one. Which one was Infinity War again? Infinity War was uh, the first uh, post credit scene was um, Nick Fury. No, wasn't there another one? I don't remember another Maybe one. Maybe No, there wasn't another one. That's right. I, it was so weak it didn't exist. My um, God. No, that I thought there was two, and I remember like. Maybe I'm thinking some. Maybe I'm thinking of Thor Ragnarok. Maybe. I don't know. What was the Thor Ragnarok? <laughs> God damn it! I don't know this shit, Gerard. Do I really look like I know either? Maybe it's Black Panther. Fuck. God damn it! I don't know you, shit. You, you, no, no, no. Black Panther did have two credits. It was showing Bucky and it was showing like oh, Chichalo yeah, coming to the UK. Yeah. Or the UN. <laughs> the UK. Yeah. Hello, blokes. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. Hey, hey, hey. He becomes friends they with do the that, right? they, tip, they tip their hats, right? They do that? Yeah, they he takes like the little like mask. He's like... He takes the ear. Oh, yeah. It's just, <laughs> just like, what are you doing? He tips his ear down. But um, there's, people, there's people talking in the background, by the way. If you hear that... See? Um, so anyway... What was I... Uh, oh, yeah, the post-card scene. Uh, the, po the, the second post-card scene. You don't need to wait after the credits. It's really nothing. It doesn't have a funny... Last thing, you know how it always says like Ant Man and Wasp will return or whatever like that. It does have a funny little thing there. Yeah, but I want to. I'm going to spoilers. Yeah. So we can talk. Okay, it's basically like like Spider Man Homecoming where you're waiting this whole time and Captain America shows like so. 
Yeah. You waited this whole time, huh? Uh, it's yeah. kind of like that. It's pretty much like that, yeah, yeah. I, I You could just watch the trailer, the second trailer, uh, and get that scene, too. It's a spoiler. We might as well just talk about it. At the end of the credits, we'll just tell you right here. The end of the credits, if you waited that long, the whole thing is, like, it has, like, a pan up to the stairs, and you hear, like, someone, like, drumming. Beat, drumming, and it's just the ant drumming. Yeah, it's just the ant drumming the whole time. Yeah, and that's it. I'm like, man, that ant's going to be the one to take which, down down. Let's do this. <laughs> which is in the trailer. So I think that that one post credit scene is supposed to show that maybe no one survived because they showed, like, the TV signal out. I mean, stuff. this is Scott's home. It doesn't mean that he had anyone living with him. I know, but it showed the TV signal. So I think it's just supposed to say, like... I mean, to be like, fair... I mean, It's be, very quiet, too, outside. Yeah, it's very quiet. Like, everything's in chaos. Yeah, so it's just showing that, like, this is... I guess, I don't know. I mean, I guess you might as well just bring it up to the next one. Spoiler alert. People got Thanos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first post credit scene. Okay, the whole movie ends. Everything's fine. Everything, uh, they saved Janet. She has magical she, Jesus she, powers. She's Jesus. She's Jesus. Um, she yeah, can, like fucking... Ghost is just like, oh, I'm dying. She goes, hold on. Yeah. The whole You're thing about... The whole thing, oh. is, the whole thing about Ghost is that she got... Um, her father, who is a Silas, I, I Silas, can't, I can't remember his, his name. name. Yeah, th this is a character everybody wanted in the first movie. I can't remember his name though. But um, he tried yeah. to do quantum shit. Yeah, he did and it went shit. it went really bad. It Both exploded. her parents died. But she was there too. She didn't die. She just got quantum. So yeah. now, she, now she's like phasing out of existence. So that's why she can like phase through walls and stuff. But she can't really control it. And it seems like she's about to like just disappear and she gets completely. The sh and also fun fact. It seems like the just like the first Ant-Man movie there's a strong connection to S.H.I.E.L.D. even though it no longer exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like she was got the suit and she all this was because of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like she got the suit because of S.H.I.E.L.D. They had a as an assassin for S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the whole thing is she thinks that... Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Hank Pym betrayed her father. Her father, which it seems like maybe that's not the case. I don't know. He said it's not the case, but who knows? Maybe I mean, maybe he did. Grandpa, maybe, he's just a grumpy grandpa. Yeah, he's just a grumpy grandpa. But um, but yeah. So she has a kind of like a vendetta, but she just wants to survive. Really. Yeah. So she that, doesn't really. Go, she's not going for revenge. She just wants to live. Because if she went I for revenge, she would live. If she wanted to just get revenge, she would have killed them immediately. Because they, she gets to drop on them a couple times. Oh, yeah, a but, lot. Yeah. So she, she has it. Like, she literally has her fist through his throat. Yeah. I will end you if you don't give me that thing. You know who the actress is? Who? Remember that character in Ready Player One that is uh, the like the bodyguard for the bad guy, Ser Serrano? Serranto? Oh, uh, Serranto. So, uh, the, the girl that was like her... His, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Oh, my God, that's it was same, her. Yeah, that's the same actress. So, uh, I was just like, man, she plays a lot of badasses. Yeah. So, g good on you. I don't. I play a fat guy that sits in my room. And you mean this isn't an act? Th no, this isn't an act. <laughs> it's, a, it's a true story, oh. this one. But, um, yeah. C so come I'd to like, theaters next summer. Yeah. <laughs> you could go see Based the, on a true story. the great life story of me. Go on the movie, God. It's going to be a very slow and boring story. But okay, so the whole thing wraps up. Jenna has uh, Jesus, powers. Yeah, Jesus powers, and then she it, heals people by touching. So and then like, the ghost. It shows it's not permanent because at the at the credit to like have like a little mini quantum tunnel yeah. in the van. Yeah, and she I did try to gather like healing particles to help heal her. Yeah, because it's not forever. Yeah, and literally as soon as like the, okay, we're gonna do a countdown. Uh, Scott, five. Four, and I was like, at once, someone's gonna get fucking Thanos. Yeah, and then, and then he, he goes through, and it's like, oh, okay, he's just gathering and stuff. It's like, guys, let's go, guys, guys, and then and he goes cuts up, back, and it cuts back, all, all three of them gone, gone. And you see Ash in there, and you hear everyone at the theater go, no, <laughs> yeah, that was great. I actually, every time, like I, nobody thought that was possible. All right, do something. It's still happening. <laughs> it's still happening. Which I guess they didn't understand that this was supposed to be a prequel, because you know, no one's talking about, oh, half the galaxy's gone. Yeah. Because it was the whole galaxy, right? Yeah, like, like, the, no, the universe. The universe, that's even worse. It's even oh, worse. shit. Come on, Thanos, you fucker. It's a resource thing. <laughs> gotta, gotta do it, gotta kill resources. It's like, well, why can't you just make it, it's like, why can't you just have your own resource? I, mean, I just thought, you know that meme where it's like a guy looking at something and not looking at his girlfriend? Yeah. Or whatever, looking at someone yeah. else? Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, Thanos looking, look, look, it's like killing half the universe? No, it, no, it's just resources. Yeah. <laughs> No, my, no, but it's go. like... I'm sure someone already made that no, one. No, my, my favorite meme, though, is like... It's like, why don't you use the Pally Fanning on to make infinite resources or so for the uh, the universe and wipe it half it out? He's just like... And all the math going on. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that math meme, too. Yeah. There's a lot of memes going on, guys. Um...
So, I know I say um a lot. That's just what I do. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, uh, and uh, all, and did you, did you it, see my Paul Blart 2 poster? Oh, by my right? God. Here we go. Yeah. But... You're really proud of that. I am. I didn't buy it. Adrian got it for me. Thanks, Adrian. <laughs> anyway, back You to did it. this. I did this. No, what was it, though? Uh, no, but it's like Scott's stuck in the quantum realm now because he was supposed to have someone pull it out. Yeah. And the only people that are there, gone. But the, Janet mentioned beforehand, like, he has to be careful not to touch, like, any time vortexes yeah. because it would be lost forever. Yeah. And that sets up the whole time travel thing people have been speculating about. Yeah, so Ant-Man might travel back in time. We're gonna be back great. into World War II and Cal gets his superpowers. <laughs> yeah. The Nazis about to kill the scientists. He just stops them. He goes back to World War One, where Wonder Woman's... Oh no, he's a DC. Oh, yeah, he's Come in the wrong universe. Oh, that'd be great. MCU needs to buy DC right now, so they could connect them, do some like Flashpoint shit. Except with Ant Man, have Justice <laughs> League of America slash Avengers. Let's do this, dude. They should do Flashpoint except with Ant Man, Ant Point. Just do that. That's a great idea. Ant there you go. Point, the Ant Point paradox. Yeah, Ant Point paradox. There you go. Screw it. The new Fifty Two, the Winter Ant. The winter ant. Oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for like Antony to come back. It's like, Antony, Antony, is that you? And he has a metal wing. He's like, who's Antony? <laughs> who's Antony? Uh, there's, a, there's some good ant puns in here, too. Yeah. I mean, it, not as good as Anthony. No, but they're, you know, like Ulysses S. Ulysses S. Ant. Gr- ant. All right. Uh, uh, Antonio Banderas. That was one. Oh, yeah. It's just like, you're the best. Because it's like, come on, let's do this. Seagulls just kept eating the flying ants back yeah. and forth. I'm like, oh, come on, guys. Yeah. And then there was one that did it. And he's just like, man, you're a badass. And he called him Antonio Banderas. And then, he and then he gets eaten by Seagull immediately. And then he gets eaten. No, Antonio Banderas. And then he falls in the water. It goes, bloop. Yeah. <laughs> I, lo- I love that type of humor. It wasn't as much in this, but it was a lot more in the first one. Yeah. Like, it was like, in the perspective, like when he's fighting his winner, uh, winner jacket. Uh, yellow jacket, and he's like, no! And next thing you know, she's a ton of tank and just tip over. That's what I mean when there wasn't enough, like, Ant-Man stuff. Oh, yeah, we need more of that. Catered to him being small. There was some, like, him being big, I guess. I mean, Or him being kind of small. Which, that that school scene is great. Where oh, just, yeah, I love that scene. He's kind of small. He's, like, running yeah. around like he's a little... You want a juice kid. box with some sliced cheese? <laughs> you had some strange... Do you have those? You have those? <laughs> and then you just tell Jack, like, Hope's face, she's just like... Oh my fucking god, this is amazing. <laughs> He's so baby boy. Uh, that was great. So yeah, there's a lot of great moments. But yeah, that, that post credit scene, I guessed, I knew... You guessed I, it. You I, were just like, I'm calling right now, someone's going to get Thanos. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just... Like, I, you would I, think I, it, I, did, at, at, think I it called it, but it's a little obvious that they would try to tie it into... Especially it, since it somewhere. just happened. Yeah, so, I mean, I called it, sure, but I mean, who the fuck wouldn't call it? Gerard. At the theater, apparently. Yeah, because there was. By the way, I know this is gonna sound creepy, but I record our uh, the theaters when I go there for a big movie. No, not the. Rec- I don't record the movie. I record the audio. Uh-huh. <laughs> just, I know you're looking at me weird, like, what the fuck? You did a. You're trying shit. to pull. You're trying to pull a mark no. off you, you just, just record. You know, just Instagram live twenty. <laughs> the first twenty minutes of the movie. No, you, you know how a lot of people do that for their theaters where they oh, record like the audio for reactions. I only did that. Because I knew there was going to be a post credit scene. And oh, did you I actually, had a feeling it was going to be a thing. Oh, did you actually record this one? Yeah, I did. So. Oh, my God. I got to hear yeah. that later. So I know that sounds weird, but a lot of people do it. Whenever you watch one of those reactions where people freak out in a theater, they do the same thing. I use audio memo, memo or memo. 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 Whatever. I do it just for movies like this. I don't do it for every fucking movie. Cause I, who gives a shit about Uncle Drew? Like, There's a movie called Uncle Drew. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. See? Don't talk about bad, bad about my boy Uncle Drew. Uncle Drew. All right, is there anything else we want to go over with Ant Man? Um, I thought I thought uh, Janet uh, Michelle Pfeiffer as yeah. Janet. She was really good, even though she wasn't in it too much. Uh, I thought she was good. I like her Jesus powers. Uh, I like all the the. That's one thing I should say, even though I didn't care. It's like, how do you do this? I I've been here for a long time, Hank. Yeah. I seen some shit. I seen some shit. You know. You know, it's funny because. Oh. Because after all this, I probably Dormammu. gained enough power. Dormammu, I come to walk in. I met, I met <laughs> Dormammu, and he's just like, stop. He's like, yeah. listen, I'm only here to hide from Doctor Strange. Yeah, but, um. And I just wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. She goes, oh, by the way, I know I brought you all here, but, um. 
I can get back on my own now. Poof. Yo, or well, she's like a bad guy. Imagine that was like I was, a big reveal. Like, oh, it's, that like, been, it's like an ego. I was thinking in the back of my head, like what? Like I know it wasn't never gonna happen, but how much of a twist would it be if it comes out that she wanted Je uh, Hope to be there yeah. because she needed someone there as a host kind of thing? So she swapped bodies and some shit and turned out she's a villain. Oh, that would be some next level shit. I mean, it would never happen, but yeah, that'd be like some like you know, that'd be like some fucked up stuff, man. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I that's mean, dope. let's be real. That's dope. I mean, what is it? The Russo brothers making this? Some bold choice is being made here. Well, he, they didn't make this. They made I'm, jo I'm joking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because the Infinity War was really bold. It was bold. It was bold. It gr broke ground. I literally like turned to you like if during the, uh, the credits right after Thanos just gave that big sigh. I was yeah. like, that was fucking bold, dude. <laughs> Holy bold. shit. Yeah. Well, it would be really bold if they said, nah, everybody that died, they stay dead. We're not fucking around. They're dead. Yeah. That'd, yeah. Be, that'd be bold. Oh, that would be real bold. <laughs> that would be real bold. They just got rid of like most of their big characters. Black Panther's dead. That and then movie, movie's that coming movie made all the money. Yeah, I, I love that too. Disney's like, Maul, Kevin Feige and Maul was like, yeah, we're doing this. We're making Black Panther 2. We're making Spider-Man 2. We're making Doctor Strange 2. We're making Guardians 3. And he goes, oh yeah, they're dead. They're all yeah, dead. They're dead. Except for Rocky Raccoon. No, they're, they're, it's going to be new. New yeah. guys, new we got Doctor Miles Strange. Morales. Yeah, we got Miles Morales as Doctor Strange. We're, fuck, <laughs> Doctor we're fucking, Strange. we're fucking it all up. <laughs> oh no, the timeline's all messed up. It's all messed up. Janet's gonna be the new uh, um, Hulk. Oh, she's dead too. Never mind. Never mind. Forget it. No, Hulk will be new Janet. Hulk, Hulk's new Janet. <laughs> Me love you, Ant Man. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> It's all fucked up. You just messed the timeline up completely. And now everybody's completely different. There's like characters that are just like, because the timeline's all messed up, they're all deformed now. Yeah. Uh, kill me! Hulk wearing shirt! <laughs> Black Widow's like, kill me! He's just like, oh god. I like the idea, I like the idea uh, that everyone being deformed and messed up. Hulk's only deformity is wearing a shirt. <laughs> oh, he has a shirt but, said, but no pants this time. He oh, yeah. Big dick falling around. <laughs> God. No, it's just like, I don't know I had to see that again after the Ragnarok, but no, yeah, I, I saw it again. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Thor's just like, uh, no. Everyone's like, oh, God. And he's just like, yep, that's the thing. It's like, how are you not free to Iron Story? What? It's a very long story. Watch my movie. Very long story. Very long. Hard times. Story. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, go see uh, Paul Blart, Mall Cop 2, starring Kevin James. It's out now. Go we'll check it out. Ant-Man! Ant -Man. Ant Ant-Man! Yeah, but why, Man. Uh, I definitely recommend Ant Man. Yeah, really Ant Man and the Wasp was fun. Yeah, it was a I lot liked of fun. all the team up stuff too. I should mention also, that, that, that. What's her name did a great job. Uh, Eva, Evangeline Lilly was great. Yeah, I mean she was in the last one, but she was great. I know she was a lot more prevalent in this one. And Paul Rudd was great. I mean everybody was great. Michael. I, I, was it's also great. feel. Is it like I Michael know they mentioned that a new suit? It, like, is it, did it look different also than the first Ant Man? I think the helmet looked different. The Ant Man suit. Yeah, the new Ant Man suit they got. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it was like a, you know, like a, d a different color or something. Yeah, they no, put, the helmet they, was a little different design. They put flames on it. Yeah, they, yeah, they just put hot flames. <laughs> yeah, they put flames on it. You put know? fireball on it. Put like a, a line on it. Whoa, put a new line. Yeah, it's like a, sp new a spoiler. Line. Yeah, a spoiler. They put a spoiler on him. Whoa. Thanos wins if any one. Oh, that, oh no. <laughs> I, I was talking about car spoiler. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just thought I was saying that. <laughs> Thanos wins if any war. <laughs> Part two also. Sorry. Oops. But, uh, oops. Well, there you go. Yeah, hey, what would you give it? Oh, were you going to say ghost? No, I was going to say go see it. Oh, I thought you were going to say ghost. No. Ghost, ghost bay. Okay, but, uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, it's hard to really point. You kind of have to still let this digest a little bit more. Yeah. I mean, I had some problems with it, but I really enjoyed it. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I think yeah. I like, I want to say 8, 8.5. All right. Mostly because I'm going to up you. Yeah. Okay, good. 8.5. That's fine. Whatever. 8.5, 9, 9.5, 10, 10 out of 10. 10, okay, he gives it a 10. This fucking chuckle fuck gives it a 10. He loves it. But, no, uh, I want to say it's around like 8, 8.5. Okay. I, I give it an 8. And like, it, it, it's a lot of fun. I'll probably see it again. Oh, yeah. I'll I'll I'm definitely getting it when it releases. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can't wait to see people's reactions. They watch two hours of this, and then immediately all the characters die. Yeah. So We worked that. our asses off to get Janet back, and now she's dust, she's just dusted. <laughs> she got dusted. Son, but yeah. uh, there you go. That's it. All right. Bye. 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 Wakanda. <laughs>